but it just blows my mind that I'm about to level up this horse to level 15 in one day in one day are you kidding me this is my first time logging on in a while and when I last logged off my mouse cursor was teeny tiny now it is the biggest thing I've like what is that <laughs> why is it not normal size anymore what are they doing oh new settings why do i feel like i'm discovering star stable for the first time like come on it's been like a month <laughs> so star stable recently made an update for a couple of races where you can do the races like multiple times and for like the past basically three years i have been trying to get onto my training grind i bought way more horses than i could train in 2020 and for most of 2021 and it's slowed down a lot but i have got a lot of backlog of horses i've got like 200 horses to train if you did not see the end of my all my horses 356 of them video then i did talk about training and i don't think i've i think i've bought three more horses since then so i've got 359 horses maybe <laughs> but i have currently got of those 359 only 75 at level 15 i have 74 horses at level 10 more on that later this means that i have got 283 untrained horses is that right is that no 284 gosh i i don't know how many just over 280 horses to train it's a lot oh my gosh my horse was making eating sounds but it is not eating it is sleeping why do i feel like i've just discovered star stable why is it drinking what you do not have water are you just slurping like what Anyways, today I wanted to see if I could train a horse all the way from level 1 with 0 XP all the way to level level 15 with 33,000 XP. It is currently 12.40pm for me, so let's go ahead and find a horse. I did want to ride because I'm still obsessed with the new Arden horses, but I'm pretty sure that I have started training them. So I am going to choose a level one horse. It's kind of exciting because I've got so many horses that I don't ride. Now I have to make a decision. Okay, I hate this main style choice that I made. I don't know why I did that. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, I'm going to do Lucky Charm. We're going to have a little bit of fun with a little bit of color. Oh, I knew it was Baroness, but it's Vineyard. The Vineyard, the Windmill Race, and uh, the Fergrove Races, it's a little annoying because they're kind of spread out. And I was hoping to kind of like get a little root going. Why is it purple? That way. What if there's like a new section in our quest log? No, I don't think there is. So the races, are they purple in here? Oh my gosh, they are purple. <gasps> so does that mean they're going to be turned back to blue when every single race you can do it multiple times? Like so many questions before we've even started. Actually, I could have fed my horse because we are starting from one. I don't know why I'm just going to suffer through this. Okay. Anyways, I just want to see how this works because I just can't wrap my head around it. When they first announced they were adding this feature, it was kind of like you could do the races multiple times, but on different horses. So I don't know if I've just read the news wrong. Because that makes more sense, you know? You train one horse, do all the races, you train another horse. If this is like infinite XP, then I just don't fully understand it. Because I thought they started like... Oh, Star Stable has gone through many phases. I remember when I first started playing, it would take you full on seven days to train a horse because there wasn't as many races but the races we did have gave us more xp like 200 250 was like the usual i feel and then they started giving us less and less and when they updated the baroness's racetrack the baroness's racetrack was one of the 250 races but when they updated it it became 150 i think and they've now added two more races there and i think one of them is 250 still so like they've kind of changed it but i was like maybe they don't want us because it's gone all the way down to if you do every single race you could do it in like two three days and i'm like maybe they don't want us to be able to train a horse in one day because they feel like it will stop people playing like with the whole hollow woods thing and changing the prices of those things i don't like that <laughs> sorry I mean, the sound was kind of fun, but I wonder how annoying this would be if I'm trying to zone out and just training. Like, I feel like it's kind of annoying having such a big screen. And then we can collect our XP and then it's gone. Okay, let me do all of these. Did I finish what I was saying? 
I don't know how to describe it and I don't know how I feel like I'm fine with people being able to just train as many times as they can because I go through days where I can't log on to Star Stable I don't have enough time and then other days where I'm bored and I finish all my races and then I'm like well I would keep playing Star Stable but I don't have any more races to do so for me it kind of equals out I guess I figured it out. Okay, I stopped filming, but what I don't like about this is instead of immediately clicking okay, there's a little animation. It slows down my training. <gasps> I can do it again. I don't know if it just takes time to load. It. Oh, I just have to click it twice and then it'll appear again. That's so weird to me. Like, do I just do this? But I feel like I would get bored doing the same race over and over again, which is why I was gonna do my full training route and then come back to these races but i'm also the type of person like in the hollow woods as soon as i collect one firefly if i see another one i just have to keep going and collecting them so part of me will never be able to leave because the races just keep refreshing it just in my brain i'm like but i haven't completed it but i haven't completed it i have to stay here until i complete it if you don't know i have been training my horses to level 10 and then i'm gonna go back and train my horses to level 13 and then i'm gonna go back and train them to level 15 this is because you can do all of those segments in one day relatively easy without needing to grind too much especially to level 10 it's kind of like just all the races you can obviously get even higher if you do championships if you do all the other ways that you can make xp now with horses and i'm doing that because i have 280 horses to train it is super unmotivating to have to ride the same horse three days in a row and kind of feel like i'm not making progress like, look how long that takes. I could already be talking. I like the idea behind it because it matches in with the aesthetic of everything else. But I just don't think that is the best way to do it because there's a pause and it makes me annoyed. But maybe I'll get used to it. I don't know. I just, I can't speed run training. I feel like I'm being, being stopped. What was I talking about? All right, so we are entering the first hour of training, obviously starting at level one with zero XP. I actually, for my entire training session on this day, I just watched YouTube. I actually watched the Abigail Pinehaven 100 Days of Horse Minecraft finale. And they are really good videos because they're like over an hour long. So it kind of like, you don't really process how much time is passing i sometimes switch between you know watching netflix watching or just listening to music watching a podcast or something i mean i do have to say sometimes it sucks not being able to pay full attention to the video because otherwise i will crash especially when i was looking for the starshine animals now i did go past the Fergrove cross country race and i found that one of the repeatable races is that what they're calling it is actually 250 xp which is the best one to grind because it's basically double what all the other replayable races re-raceable races <laughs> are giving you i actually was like i was doing my full training route and i'm going to talk about how stupid i was later in the video but i even did races that i never do like the apocalyptic pole racing pole bending <laughs> race also i really just i i don't like the animation it's good it's cute do not get me wrong but i just feel like it stops my flow especially when i'm used to like whacking our races and then riding on to the next place Anyways, I also did the Dino Valley race and I immediately re remembered why I do not like it. I... <laughs> I also was like, let's do the championships, get that extra XP. I hate waiting, I get to like antsy, I need to be doing something, so I like push it to the very last minute, and I continue doing training. The one thing that I do notice is that the champ notification is still hidden by the race interface. I'm sure Star Stable is aware of that, and wants to change that, right? Of course, in an hour, you can do about two shared moments, and depending on your level, like once you get over level 10, you're getting like 500 xp for a shared moment pretty epic also why is there like no one at championships anymore i don't know if i was going crazy but i feel like there is more pink fog or maybe i just zoned out way too much but i full of like came back into the real world and i got confused about where i was but i came fifth got my xp which is all i cared for and i leveled up to level seven I had about 10 minutes left of the hour, so I quickly went and continued my training route. As I mentioned earlier, it is dangerous for me to be in the hollow woods. I get really distracted. There are kind of passive ways to make horse XP now, which I think is really good. But 
It's not something that I wanted to do in the first hour since they've it's really a grind to be able to get any real horse XP from the activities. I also had the glitch again where my orienteering flags are not showing up on the map and there isn't an option for them in the like legend section. Which means I have to turn everything on and my map is just really cluttered. There's actually a few little things like even the little flower symbols that you can't actually turn on and off and it kind of annoys me a little bit. I also got really lost going to the observatory, but we found my we found our way, and I ended the hour with 4,950 horse XP. Moving into the second hour, I realized that the gondola animation is broken. It kind of made me a little bit sad. Anyways, whilst waiting for the next champ, I did more races right up to the minute before it started. I don't think I've ever done the beach race outside of the first quest. It just isn't in my training route and I got confused at one point and it ended up going in circles. <laughs> I also forgot Drua training, so I went back. It's not my favorite thing to do, but the horse XP is always just way too good to just give up. It actually wasn't too bad today. I, I got some good missions and stuff. I actually used to really enjoy Drua training back in 2020. I finished the hour back on the training route at Paddock Island and we ended with 11,910 horse XP. So doing my normal training route, I get around 5,000 to what, 7,000 horse XP in an hour, which isn't amazing, but uh, we're about to, you know, get a lot more. So at this point, I was losing a little bit of motivation. I mean, not a ton. It was just that point of my trading route. You know, I've been sitting down on my computer for two hours. And as I was trading, I was like, you know what? I want to compare one hour doing normal training to one hour of grinding the 250 XP race. And I felt like I was about to go in insane. Like I looking at doing the exact same race for a full on 60 minutes. The race is about one minute. You're doing the race at least like 50 times. That's a lot you know <laughs> so the 250 furgrove cross-country course is actually the fastest race on average i mean by very few seconds at furgrove specifically the windmill race is actually about 10 to 15 seconds on average faster depending on your horse your tack your levels and everything it's fine your skill level as well but the windmill race despite being faster is 125 xp I did an estimate, you know, some quick maths, and if I did the 250 race for an hour, I should get or might get around 11,000 XP in an hour, but the 125 windmill race, despite being just that little bit less time, I would get only about 9,000, so that's about a 3,000 XP difference. Now, I didn't test this in the real world by actually doing the windmill, windmill windmill race i can't speak although the maths makes it sound easy to max a horse in honestly around three hours i wanted to also just see if doing an hour of the same race would do my head in that i wouldn't be sustainable when you think about it there's like ugh, doing this it distorted my brain of like what is a high amount of xp because doing my normal races well i got almost like 7,000 xp just by doing normal races if you do the windmill race which i know some people are doing for the full hour you get 9,000. that's what like 2,000 more xp than normal racing is that a lot i don't know anymore but then if you do the fur grove race over the windmill race for an hour you get another 2,000 xp like is 2000 xp a lot is it making or breaking the bank anyways about half an hour in i was pleasantly surprised now i am someone who enjoys fishing in minecraft if that says anything about me i was not sick of the race at all like i don't know i use my training in star stable kind of like the subway surface of tiktok you know just something to keep my mind busy whilst i'm doing something else watching something else i didn't feel much difference from doing the same race to doing my normal training route as time went on would it become too automatic that i would need something else for my brain to keep occupied anyways i didn't try for that long 
I didn't think I was necessarily getting better at the race. That was another thing that I was interested in. Would I become the best person ever at the Fergrove race? But no, I still crashed and I was not top of the leaderboard at all. But this was also because I was looking at my other monitors. As I mentioned, I was watching YouTube. I even wasn't noticing the little animation at the end of the race that much anymore because I didn't have somewhere to be. I guess I knew I was just going to be doing the same race, especially with this prospect of getting so much XP in just one hour. I actually didn't think about it a lot, but maybe subconsciously I was thinking about it. Honestly, getting so much XP, it felt wrong. It feels wrong. More on that later. At the end of this hour, I ended up on 23,125. I think that's just over 11,000 XP in one hour. That's like the amount of XP that you can get with an entire day's training before this whole repeatable race. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have got 1,000 XP, give or take, <laughs> until we get to level 15, which is really crazy. I took a little break. I took like an hour break in between hour three and I guess hour four. I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. Okay, so I would have uh, like the fact that you can fully train a horse in a day. I feel like that is something that we have been like thinking about for many years. I have made videos like seeing how much you can train a horse in a day and people try and get as, like as much done as possible, especially with the new shared moments. And when they added XP to championships, people started doing champs they would go afk so they could grind shared moments but this is the best thing we have ever had because we've never been able to get to literally level 15 and beyond because if you do this race for an hour you get well like 11,000 times 3 33,000 and what does that equal a fully maxed horse and like three hours of the day to me, I do not train three hours a day. Like maybe like I can pull an hour, like I don't know. So if you really wanted to and you were really bored one day and you've got like 12 hours of your day, that's like four fully trained horses. That's insane. And I mean, this is a feature that Star Stable has added, but like inside, I feel like I'm genuinely cheating. I feel like I'm glitching the game because it just doesn't feel right to me. Obviously, just because there is the feature to do one race over and over again for three hours, it doesn't mean you should do it or you have to do it. You can still do normal training and train your horse up like slower, which is something that I think I'd consider doing because like I've told you guys, I like fishing in Minecraft. I like the fact that I have so many horses to train because I know no, when I log on to Star Stable, there's always going to be something for me to do. If I didn't have horses to train, I don't know my purpose for logging on to Star Stable. Like the, the things that I do in between filming videos whenever I log on to Star Stable is purely train. So I like the fact that I have so many horses to train. And if I didn't have horses to, tr to train, I think I genuinely feel a little bit lost. I think it might be difficult to log onto Star Stable, but I think at the same time, maybe it would give me that opportunity to instead spend time getting to know the roleplay community more or club communities. Like, I don't know. Anyways, it just feels so wrong. And I don't know what Star Stable's future is for this feature because when, as I mentioned, when they first mentioned it, it was, they made it sound like it was, you could do the races again, but it was on a different horse. And then if you trained on that horse, you could switch to another horse and do the race again on a different horse. And I just feel like that makes more sense to me because you get to ride different horses and you can train one horse and if you still have extra time then you still have something else to do because there's been so many times that I finished training a horse and it's just been a really slow day and I've just felt like training more but I can't whereas this just kind of feels like people can just grind have all of their horses maxed and then they're gonna be like oh my gosh there's nothing to do in Star Stable so I feel like in a way this is working negatively for Star Stable because they've talked about wanting to keep people online for longer, like the Hollywoods update. Sure, if people can do races all the time, they're going to be online for longer, but it's also more expensive to buy more horses to then be online for longer, if that makes sense. Anyways, once again, I think they're just testing the feature, but especially if they bring this feature to every single race, it kind of feels like people would just 
maybe not everyone, but if people were looking for lucrative sounds too aggressive. The quickest way to train, they would choose the quickest race with the best XP. I was talking to Georgia, like I don't know why I didn't think of this when I first started training. I don't know why I did my normal training route for some reason. I didn't think it would still be light outside when I finished filming this video, but it is. But people have been doing like the windmill race or um, this race. And although I haven't done the windmill race in for an hour, if the math says anything, I think even though this one is a slightly longer race because it gives you double the XP, it's better because it's not double the time. If that makes sense, you know, like the windmill race is like a minute. This one's a minute 10, basically. I've been doing about a minute 10. Oh my gosh, this is the last time, you guys. Should we do like one of the different ones? Let's do one of the different ones. It. <gasps> why does it kind of feel weird? Like, I thought that I would get tired of it. That's why I was like, okay, at the end, I'll go ahead and grind the race. Tell me why it was kind of like totally chill. It was not that hard for me. But it just blows my mind that I'm about to level up this horse to level 15. In one day? In one day? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And I spent an entire extra hour doing this because I did my normal training route at the start. And I would say that I potentially had a little bit more fun. I do actually really enjoy doing all the different races. I think the only time when I'm doing my training route that I get a little bit bored is when I'm riding between the races because I don't trailer. I like to ride between, but I don't anyways. But um, I still had like the same amount of fun, I guess, doing the same race over and over again, but I'm not sure if I would do this again. But part of me is tempted because obviously why would I do three hours of training just to get my horse to level maybe 10, a little bit over 12 or something, I don't know. When I could do three hours of training and get my horse to level 15. But then I don't want to do that because I don't want to run out of horses to train. And I feel like I might if I was to keep doing this. But Lucky Charm has got 33,000 horse XP at level 15. The first level 15 horse I've had in a while because I've just been training my horses to level 10. Let me know what you guys think. I thought that this video was going to be different and it wasn't it feels very simple and like i'm really silly for thinking that this wasn't a lucrative thing <laughs> but i guess i'm not gonna be riding lucky charm for quite a while if you want to learn more about all of my 289 horses i think it is or 86 at the time then you can check out the video on the screen or you can also check out the video where i've spoken a lot about my training techniques and maybe you can get to know more of my training routine why i'm training my horses to level 10 and more things like that i love you all so much and i'll see you all later bye